So many things has happened since the last episode of Hermitcraft. For starters, my eye is looking really, really weird. More about that in a little bit. First, I'm starting off in the canopy because when I was editing my last video, I realized something that I have missed. Look at that! <laughs> Just a branch that for some reason I've completely missed to put leaves on. Now don't get me wrong, there are a lot of places in the canopy where I haven't put down leaves, but for some reason, this one bugs me a lot. So, to start off today, we're gonna take care of that. I've got a bit of a confession to make. I have used the same pair of headphones for the past five years, but in between episodes, I've got myself a new pair and everything Breaking logs, breaking these leaves, my voice, everything sounds really strange. I am a little bit worried that I am going to be stuck placing down leaves for the rest of this season because not only not only did I miss this branch entirely, but now as I'm doing it, I also noticed that that branch there was missing a lot of leaves underneath, so I've just done that as well. That's a lot better. I can't believe I actually missed that little branch. Now, with that taken care of, as I said, a few things happened in between episode, namely around Mumbo Jumbo's button, Cyclops. You see, as it turns out, Doc M77 was camping the button an entire day. Mine. Now, I hung around for a good while, hoping that Doc would eventually just let me have the green. Oh, it just switched to lime green. I want that so badly. Now, I felt kind of bad just stealing the lime green right in front of the eyes of Doc. So, I came up with a bit of a plan. First, I brewed up some invisibility potions. I then whispered to Stress Monster to say yes to anything that I would say in chat. Which, for some reason, she agreed to. She's cute like that. <laughs> Weirdo. Now the goal with this whole messaging stress monster was to bring Doc's guard down. And so I drank my invisibility potion, went back to the button, snuck around the corner, and pressed it. Now due to some unfortunate positioning, Doc actually managed to pick the green concrete block up. No, 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 don't steal it. Awkward. But that being said, Doc being a gentleman, a few arrows later, he dropped it on the floor. Nice. And so goes the story of me obtaining the Omega Belt. Yep, because everybody knows that for me, there's no better color than lime green. And I gotta say, <laughs> it really suits my face. <laughs> now, in addition to me acquiring the best belt ever, I also went and busting with Mambo. Oh, and yeah, I, I, don't, I don't actually have any footage to show you because it was done in a live stream. If you want to see the VOD, it's available on my Twitch channel. I will say one thing though, do you even bust, bro? And last but not least, I also helped Etho recover his items after a creeper blew him up. It's Cal, man. I have just had the silliest of ideas, so this, this is all the loot that I got from the end busting with Mambo. Now, in classic fashion with our end busting, we have a little bit of a competition, but then at the end of it, we basically almost split everything 50-50, and that was, that was the case this time as well. As you can see, I got quite a lot of Schalke boxes, and I usually store them like this because obviously... Well, then you can store many, many Schalke boxes. And no, not full Schalke boxes, but in quotation Schalke boxes in another Schalke box. But, I mean, this may be a really, really dumb idea. <laughs> this may be a really, really dumb idea. What if we would store them in the tree? Like, literally in in their own tree trunk cave. Trunk cave. Ca tra tr wow. I can't even remember what I call them. Trunk cave. Yeah, I call them trunk cave. I am definitely going to regret this, but it's just one of those silly, weird ideas that I can't get out of my head. And I'm dying to see how it looks to have over three stacks of Schalker boxes just, just squished in. Squished in, literally, into this trunk cave. People always tell me to use scaffolding, and I always forget, but you guys are right. They are, they are very, very handy when it comes to these sorts of things, and this is going to be... One of the more satisfying things you can do in my- What? That's- That's not legal! Hello? Are you real? N uh, uh, what? Okay. That was weird. <laughs> that was really weird. I feel like this trunk cave deserves 
a raised up spruce floor, just like our storage trunk cave over there. Of course, I picked the one wood type I didn't have any stock of. I gotta stop spending diamonds. I have to stop spending diamonds. What have I stumbled upon here? <laughs> it looks like Doc is once again camping the button. I know that by now Doc has made it to yellow. I wonder if Keralis has a belt under those trousers. The questions we ask on the Hermitcraft server, they're weird. Oh, now Scar. Scar joined in as well. They're thinking about it. They're thinking about it. Yeah, Doc definitely has the yellow belt. I'm out of here. I just love building spruce decorated floors in Minecraft. I don't know what it is. It's just one of those things that almost turns out better than than I expected. Anyway, this trunk cave is now more or less finished and ready for all of the Schalke boxes. And I gotta say, it's quite weird that I'm dedicating a full trunk cave to just stacking up Schalke boxes. Here we go though, point of no return. That's a stack of Schalke boxes right there. I don't really want to give too much thought into how I place these down, just it's kind of semi-chaotic. They're all empty, right? So we don't need to think about being able to access them. That being said though, this is a little bit more tricky. A little bit more tricky than I than I expected. And also, I wonder if mobs can spawn on Schalke boxes. This is potentially the dumbest idea. Hello? Excuse what? <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> that was mega random. <laughs> Okay then, well this may potentially be the dumbest idea I've ever had, but that is the last of the busted and busted Schalke boxes placed down, and that's solid. That is solid and goes quite far back, all the way. All the way back. I should probably also add all of these empty ones that I have. Now the idea is, is that whenever I need a Schalke box, I'll just, I'll just come and mine them. I basically have made my own chest monster. You can go there, and you can go there. Nice. Well, that was a stupid project, but it's done. It's done, and I regret nothing. You know what? With the personalized chest monster project completed, we actually only have two roots that haven't been designed inside the tree. I think I want to do that. Get this entire bottom section of the inner tree all completed. So it's this route here, which is right by the entrance. That's going to be a little bit tricky. And then it's this one, this one over here. I think that is looking pretty good. So now on to the tricky one, which I, I honestly don't know. I honestly don't know what to do with this one because, yeah, this comes down right at the entrance of the tree. As this one is going to be a little bit tricky. I'm now addicted to scaffolding blocks. They are, they're just the best. I think what I have to do here is to bend, bend this root a little bit this way. And that may potentially, potentially work, but it also seems, it also looks like I've picked to have the entrance where I have like the steepest, steepest nook. I still don't know half of the words I say. Now this may sound a little bit ridiculous, but I'm not joking when I say I've been at this thing for the past hour now and I'm getting to a point where I feel, where I start to feel like it's actually looking, oh I didn't mean to do that, where it's actually starting to look pretty cool so the the root kind of arches around the entrance is what I'm going with. So just a few more things that I keep seeing when, <laughs> when I stand back and watch this thing. But yeah, there we go. I think I think that's actually that's actually looking really, really good. And it's made it work with this with this entrance right here. I've been thinking a lot about what I want to do with this area as the base kind of progresses. Because yes, this is the IBB of the base, the in-between base base. But there are certain things that are definitely going to have to stay in the trunk. And certain things that I want to do extra in the trunk. For example, the bedroom. I definitely think that I want to have a functioning bedroom at the bottom layer of the full tree. As well as the nether portal and the library. The only real thing that I think I'm going to move in the future is going to be the storage system and that is the, that is also the one thing that is most complete at this point in time which is just quite hilarious anyway the point is i've been starting to think about how the base is actually going to function now a few episodes ago i spoke about the idea of having a spiraling staircase going all the way around and somehow slowly but surely making it all the way up to the top and remember there would be a massive canopy here so we won't actually have this open 
open skylight thing in the future. This is actually going to be super tricky. Super tricky to get right because I don't want it to be too steep. But I also don't want it to block too much of the trunk caves. And, and the whole trunk is going inwards. I forgot about that. <laughs> the whole trunk is going inwards. So not only does it need to go around, up and diagonally. It also needs to go in. Why, why do I do these things to myself? Right, let's have a look then. Are we actually doing the right thing here? <laughs> this look is so chunky right now. <laughs> I am happy. I'm happy with the arch though. It's a little bit steep for my liking right there. But yeah, that is that is the general idea. I, I really like the oak. The oak color does a great job because it's the same color as the underneath of these logs. I may be the slowest staircase builder in history, but quite a bit later, this is where I'm at. With the use of some slabs, I've removed the chunkiness and that feels, that feels really good. And from angles, this is actually looking really good. I am really starting to like this from certain angles. Now the reason I say from certain angles is because look at it from the wrong way and it it looks like a mess now i do like the idea of adding support for the staircase using spruce fences the only problem is is that in places it's going to be a little bit too narrow i think i think i just about just about managed that yeah that is definitely adding to it i did try to use full logs to support it but it looked mega chunky i gotta be honest i am really struggling with this staircase I've even given it a beard. An unkept leaf beard. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to leave this project for today and give it some more thought and give it some more time. If you have any suggestions, please do leave them down below in the comments. Like I said, I think there is something there. I'm just not entirely sure on how to structure it out. So moving on for today, I've made my way over to the shopping district because first... I want to have a look in our microblock trade chest. Have we made any more trades? I don't know if these were here. I don't know if these were here last time I checked. I think these were here. But so far we are still... We're still not looking great. Hermit's watching this. Come get your easy diamonds. But the reason I made my way over here is because I have finally decided that I want to restock my island. And... <laughs> There's a good reason for that. It's it's looking extremely dire. Extremely dire. I think what I'm going to do is mine all of these up and have a look inside them. Now, I know that someone has got the, the jackpot already, but I can't actually remember what else would be in these. We got one with a stack of gold in it. Another one with gold. Double stone. Oh, there was a diamond one left. Most of these, however, are empty. And I think what I want to do different this time is, first of all increase the mega jackpot one so the first thing i'm gonna do is collect the diamond blocks that i still had here and i think this should be 17 because i nicked four the other day yeah 17 diamond blocks and i think i'm going to reinvest these into the mega jackpot now i've decided that i'm gonna do two jackpots one mega jackpot and one normal jackpot <laughs> i won't actually call it normal jackpot we'll just call it the jackpot anyway the mega one is going to be slightly better and i think we're going to start it off with 10 diamond blocks we'll follow that up with a stack of gold blocks gold is something that a lot of hermits want at the moment and a stack of gold blocks that's actually quite generous that's that's a quite good reward my new enchanted apple can also be in here. Again, these are super, super rare. All right, they're super, super rare. An elytra. And I guess we'll put the slime blocks like this instead. And that, that is looking like a pretty good box. Mega jackpot. And for the second one, I still want this one to feel good. But I don't want it to be quite as good. So I think this is a good start. Yeah, I mean, that's still a jackpot, to be honest. That's still... Still a really, really valuable box. So now that we have a mega jackpot and a jackpot... Does that mean we also need a pot? This is so stupid. Not funny. Pot. <laughs> As I said, I do want to make the general boxes a little bit better this time. So, I'm actually going to use the diamonds that I mined the other day. And I think... I mean, if you get diamond ores in one, you pay one diamond block, four diamond ores. You may break even, plus the box of four of those in two of these. Should I spread them out? Yeah, I should spread them out. Right, so let's bring these ones over and then we'll prep the rest over at the island. A moustache stone box. Brilliant. A moustache cobblestone box. Brillianter. 
since I have a little bit more resources this time around, I am being a little bit more generous. I mean, this is not terrible. It's not great, but it's not terrible. A shulker box costs five diamonds, and this is then one, two, three, four, five. How many stacks? Seven? Seven stacks of sand? Let's make it eight stacks of sand instead. So eight stacks of sand is valued at one, two, three, four diamonds. Yeah, so this is basically your money back if you need sand. I'm also making use of the gear that I found end busting. So that is two pretty good boxes, two pretty good boxes as well. <laughs> this one is a horse armor box. You know what? I've just had an idea. This is a lot of the stuff that I got from end busting and I think, I think I'm gonna take this entire box and put it in the pile. We'll call it the loot pot. <laughs> <laughs> These puns are so bad. I've decided to make a big change in the treasure island this time around. Every single gem that you get from the pile is going to at least have something in it. So I filled up every single one of these with at least something. Now granted, some of them, some of them are not the best. But you won't be getting any empty boxes. And to be fair, quite a few of these have higher value than they would have if you bought the thing separately. So, I feel that's a pretty good change. Now all I gotta do is color all of these up, including the jackpot boxes. Okay, I'm gonna change the color of the jackpot boxes. They're not gonna stay purple. You guys are not gonna know what color they are. Another change I'm making is that I'm not actually going to bother this time with placing the Schalke box upside down. Instead, I'm just gonna trust that every single hermit is a gentleman and that they will not cheat. And there we have it. The gems have been restocked better than ever. Let's see what signs we need to remake. Some gems have treasures and some don't. All gems have some reward this time. Then I think we changed these bottom signs up. Mega jackpot, jackpot, loot pot, pot. It's literally a pot. <laughs> Diamonds, redstone, gold, and grindy blocks. Dear Hermits, Iskaz Island now restocked. Now with two plus jackpots. <laughs> no more empty gems. Every gem contains something. Ooh, the button has actually reached green. And that's without Doc being online. He's been, he's been online constantly, just holding the position. He's even, he's even made a chair for himself to sit in and things. I don't know what this is all about. That's just a giant, just a giant magma, magmatic arrow. Actually, I think I just got the reference. It's an upvolt arrow, right? Because this is, this is originally a thing from the Reddit. Could also be a 2D house. I guess. I'm not gonna lie, part of me wants to press this because it is at green, so I don't actually lose anything. And I keep the button alive. But I kind of also want to see if I can catch it over in this general area over here. Even though I don't I don't really want the orange belt. <laughs> Must resist pressing it. I'm out of here. Now speaking about the button, it is essentially a social experiment, isn't it? It's essentially a social experiment that started on Reddit and that Mumbo Jumbo decided to build here on the Hermitcraft server. And it's given me a really, really silly and dumb idea, but I want to do an experiment of my own on Mumbo Jumbo starter or in between base base. And this is really silly, okay? This is really, really silly, but just out of curiosity, okay? Just out of curiosity to see if Mumbo would notice it. What if we changed up all of the jungle stairs and slabs for oak stairs and slabs? <laughs> it's stupid. Now, I will say this. Obviously, I will help him put it all back together. I just want to see if he notices it, to be honest. I just want to see if he notices it because I don't know if I would live in this base. I don't know if I would recognize a change <laughs> if all of these were oak instead of jungle. This is weird, but I'm gonna do it. Now I'm trusting you guys won't tell him about this, okay? I'm trusting that you guys won't tell him about this because then the whole experiment fails. Let's just see what happens. Let's just see what happens. Mumbo's labeling of chests is just the best I've ever seen. Random good. <laughs> That's so funny. I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually super curious to see if he's actually going to notice this. I don't, I don't know if I would. I seriously don't know if I would. It seems, it seems like such an obvious thing. Obviously now as I'm doing it and as you guys are watching the video, but it's not really something you pay attention to normally, is it? Like the, the stairs and the, and the trim of your base. I guess one thing that gives it away is that there's a clear difference between the logs now and, 
and the and the and the stairs and that. But I'm 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 really really curious. I'm really really curious. Oop. Make sure to leave no no traces behind. But as I said, I'm really really curious to see if he, if he notices this. This is such a stupid thing. Okay, this is such a stupid thing. And like I said, I'll definitely help him replace it and put back all of the all of the jungle ones. I just want to see what happens. Please let me know down below in the comments how long you think it will take him to notice it. I'm gonna say two episodes. I have got a lot of comments saying that Alan, the bird, makes redstone noises every time I feed him. And I haven't actually paid attention, I guess, to this very much. But I just have to, I just have to see, is there more to you, Alan, than meets the eyes? Let's give him his favorite food. There's definitely clicking noises. I guess maybe I should investigate this. Don't worry, Alan. I'm a certified bird surgeon. Ooh. Yeah, there seems to be some kind of pickup system and then a dropper down here. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, for goodness sake. Wait a minute. Put you back together, Alan. Yep, that's what I thought. Oh, no. Alan, why? He's pooping diorite <laughs> every time I feed him. I guess that's not a terrible thing, because that does mean that Dyrite gets gets despawned and destroyed. However, I do think it's a little bit risky to just poop this out in the wild. So, there we go. A little bit of an upgrade. A little bit of an upgrade to uh, to Alan. Have some more food, Alan. Have some more food. It's all good. I can't believe I didn't notice this earlier, to be honest. There we go. We're doing good things here, Alan. Alan is happy to get rid of all the diorite inside him. Anyway, that is going to do for today. I really do hope that you have enjoyed today's episode. If you did, do hit the like button down below. And if you're brand new, consider subscribing. And I will see you dudes in the next episode.